It's been a while since our last YouTube video, but since then we've been working on this new pottery studio, still working in progress though, and we thought it would be a great time to celebrate this with another YouTube video. And this time I'm going to make a food strainer, and this is because just about a week ago I was boiling pus water and I was about to pour it off, I didn't have a food strainer at hand and I burnt myself. So I thought making a food strainer would be the perfect next piece. I'm gonna use 1.7 kilos of clay. Let's do this. Okay, I think we have a good enough shape now, so I'm just gonna let this dry for, I don't know, an hour or so, take it off and then we will make the holes and the handles. So now I'm gonna trim the bottom and I'm actually not gonna uh, create a foot here, instead I'm gonna um, make three feet and uh, attach them to the bottom later. So I'm just going to create this smooth surface all over the bottom. Okay, let's put some clay on. So I really want to make sure that the walls are not too thick. So I'm actually going to turn this one around and have a look to see how thick it is. So it's actually a bit thinner than I thought, so I'm glad I turned this one around. What I can do, because this is going to be a strainer, is that I can already now poke a hole here. So I really know what thickness this bowl has. And for that purpose, I'm going to use this tool and try to find the center. And then and I'm through. So now when I continue to trim this, I sort of get a good idea of how thin the walls are. I think this one is thin enough now. So what I'm going to do now is to put three feet on here and then we will make the holes and then the handles. So now I'm going to use this clay to make three feet and I'm going to roll it in a coil. I'm now going to cut this one in three pieces, or create three pieces. So maybe I want this length and of course same length of each. And there we have them. So this is what they will sort of look like. I'm going to try a design where I try to make the legs 
thinner on one side. Let's see how that goes. Okay, there they are, my three legs. And the good thing about only having three legs is that you get a very stable uh, construction. If you have four legs, there's a much bigger risk that you will have a uh, uneven round. Okay, I'm just gonna place these out now to see how they where they fit. So I think this would be a good place, but I'm gonna cut the legs like this, so I get a better angle. Now we have a much better angle. So now it's time to attach them. So I'm, I made these marks to know where I want to put them, and then I'm just gonna scrape the surface. And now I'll do the same thing on the actual legs. And slickers. Last one. And now I just want to make sure they're placed where they should be. So the legs are on now and they have been drying for some time, but just gonna let you know what I did when these were softer to make sure that we have a stable surface here. I used this bat and just put it on top and just pushed gently like this. That way I get this flat surface. But now it's time to turn this one around and start creating the holes. And hopefully the clay is not too dry, but maybe a bit too dry. So I'll try with one here. And I press it down and then I just turn. And then I'm gonna use this, just wooden stick, maybe with this side, uh, and just finish it a bit like that. and brush it off. So time to make the handles and I've prepared this coil for the handles. I did let it dry for, I don't know, an hour or so. And I'm just gonna cut these out, just right there. And then Let's see, I think this will work. That's one. And then I need another one, same size. Let's do that. So now I have two pieces. I'm gonna turn this one around. So, obviously I want these two in a straight line. 
on each side. And same as with the legs, I'm gonna cut off a slice here just to get the angle right. And I want them leveled with the bat here. Put some slip on. And then I'm gonna let it dry for some time and then I will remove the extra slip here. So I'm just gonna finish this off a bit, make it a bit smoother, and then I'm gonna turn it upside down again, let it dry, and that's it. That's how you can make a strainer.